This is the Joby Gorillapod, arguably one of the most popular and versatile mini tripods. And for good reason, because they're amazing. Now, people started complaining about them because these little joints are plastic. And because they were plastic, it would lose its rigidity over time or sometimes snap. And what happened was, when you put them on a desk and you put a heavier camera on there, it would just start to droop down. So that's why they made this one. This is the 3K Pro kit, which comes with the ball head and also this little quick release plate on top. And what's different about this is the ball joints are actually aluminium. So they're a lot stronger, a lot sturdier, and they will last longer than the plastic ones. Then other companies started coming out with different types of mini vlogging tripods like the Switch Pod, but I never got that one because it wasn't as flexible, you couldn't use it in as many situations. But Joby being Joby, they've listened to what the people want and they've come out with this. It's called the Podzilla. <laughs> It's a completely new design with fully flexible legs. It's got a ball head on top and it's got this kind of rubber design which is really easy to grip onto so it feels good in the hands. Yes, it looks a little bit like a Dyson Hoover vacuum hose but that's not the point. So I'm going to go out for the day and test to see if it's as good or better than the 3K Pro kit version and we'll see what it's like. <laughs> right, so when I'm walking along and vlogging using a gorilla pod, this is how I would usually hold it at the bottom. But because these legs sort of taper off at the end and they go a little bit thinner, that's great for extra bendiness. But when you're holding it, there's not as much to hold on to. So as you can see, it might be a little bit shaky because I'm holding on to a thinner thing. <laughs> so I'll slip over some more. This is Will, by the way. He's almost walking into the uh, branches. There he is, look. Right, got this tree which is a great spot for testing both of the tripods out because look at this. When you're in the woods and you want to get a camera high up and not on the floor, a branch like this is perfect because it's a good height. So we'll be able to wrap the legs around this and see which one is the most sturdy. Securing it to the tree now, using the Podzilla. His legs are nice and easy to bend and it's, oh yeah, that is easy to do. But will it hold on? Will those rubber legs hold on? I'm happy with that. That's great. Obviously as well, once you've got the legs in place, you then want to maneuver this ball head and get the camera in the right position. I've got it angled down a little bit now, and I want to see if it will topple over with the weight. It's not moving, is it? So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wobble. I'm just going to push it down. I've pushed it down on purpose. It's going t slowly, but it's still gripping on. I'm impressed. I'm really impressed. That's hello. A friend is Bye. Gorilla Pod now. Let's wrap these around. Obviously, yeah. So this is harder to adjust, but that could either be a good thing or a bad thing, I suppose. See, that's the other thing. You can't always get it into the position that you want because the joints aren't as flexible. That's on. Because these legs are more flexible, you can be more precise. You can wrap it round this branch and get like full contact throughout, throughout the whole leg. Whereas on the gorilla pod, they're ball joints. So it doesn't all connect with the branch. When you're going from a position where you've been using it as a tripod or wrapped around a branch, and then to go back into vlogging mode, to get like that sort of straight, straight handle, it's really difficult because of those ball joints. This one, because it's super flexible, it's just really easy to get back into a... <laughs> just take that. It's really easy to get back into that straight position. There you go. Yeah. Right, so I went out and filmed this whole bit, edited it all, but it was boring and unnecessary. And all you want to know is, does it work? And how does it compare to the original version? So I'm just going to sum it up for you, basically. I'm having to use this because my microphone cable's broke. 
So I'm gonna have to get another one of those. So because the legs are slightly longer on the Podzilla, you can actually get more range and reach, a little bit more wrap around if you're going around a tree or something like that, which really helps. But the legs aren't as strong or as sturdy as they are on the original. So that means sometimes it might not grab on as securely as the pro version, and you might be limited to where you can actually mount the tripod. But if you're just doing general things, then you'll be fine. Now, I've been waiting a long time for Joby to come out with a new version of the Gorillapod. And I've been a big fan, I really have. But there's a few instances where I think the design could be improved slightly. I've managed to make do all this time, but I think they've done really well. There's only two things I would change. On the original version, or the newer version, the ball head can rotate 360 degrees. You can also go into vertical mode or portrait mode, and then you just swivel that round wherever you want, so it's really flexible. Whereas, on the new one, it doesn't rotate 360 degrees. This bit does, but sometimes you need a little bit more flexibility to move out of the way of the legs, for, it, for instance. As you can see in this shot here, when I wrapped it around this post, I was unable to get the horizon level. So there are times where this limits you, but I mean, it depends how often you're gonna be mounting your tripod to something like that. But with this one, I suppose the option is there. So a new ball head design would be nice to see on version two, perhaps. And also the little clip. I just feel like the design of this quick release plate is a lot safer than the little plastic clip you get here. I don't, I don't trust that. Now I do actually put my own quick release plates on here anyway. That's worth considering. So currently the Podzilla is way less than half the price of one of these pro kit versions of the Gorillapod. I mean, if you're just getting into vlogging and you've got a smaller, lighter camera and you don't, you're not going to be setting it up in really obscure places, then this is definitely the one to go for. I'll be using it on my camera setup because how I usually set things up, it will be fine. If you do take more chances with mounting your camera in strange places, then this is the one to go for, or even maybe the 5K kit version, which is a little bit bigger and a little bit more secure because it's got bigger ball joints. But then, you know, you pay a price. But I suppose if you've got a camera that costs a lot of money, then you want to go for the very best that you can get. I'd be interested to know in the comments, which tripod do you use for vlogging or general filming let me know thanks so much for watching see you in the next one